That's stupid, but we learned in Umineko that everything that's not debunked is valid. Oh my god, yes, I did it. This is so weird. Why do we have this scene? I like having that explained, actually. Maybe I will just destroy my good theory and just present the bad one. Maybe I should, like, not think about games as specific cases. Hello? Uh, that's cheating. It never happened before. What is this kind of cheating? He's competent murderer? Or he's incompetent idiot? I'm rising my suspicions about Goda. Hello and welcome, Pocket Watch here, and it's about time for yet another episode of Mineko Chiru. So yeah, first of all, I wanted to thank you for your references uh, of, of like under the It's Hammer Time episode, because that was the episode where we got introduced like to books, basically about the mystery genre, and I have no idea what kind of books are there. So I didn't knew that they were referencing someone called Agatha Christine's and the titles of. And there were none. I have no idea what that was. So that was like good to know. So basically, this whole episode was pretty good treat for anyone who's like interested in genre in general. So yeah, it was like kind of like just in I was like in just interest in like what kind of like reference that was. But yeah, if you're a fan of mystery games and novels and everything, then yeah, I guess that was like a very cool moment for you. Not that much for me. But anyway, last episode was pretty cool and we are going to follow up uh, with the next ones. So I guess I just load the game, but before that I want to give special thanks to my channel members. So yeah, because of you, I can grow even more with this channel and I can improve quality and everything. So yeah, thank you and I hope you enjoy your early episodes. Let's go. Let's see. With the crime in the early morning, we completely forgot about breakfast. So we now had our first meal of the day at the time that could never be called breakfast time. Even Goda-san, wonderful meal, which had supposedly been in the works since yesterday night, provided no comfort. The several empty seats quietly burden us with the pain-filled sadness. Then, in the middle of this meal, that felt like a vigil, Erika suddenly stood up. Wait, what? Why Erika was the one who like stood up? It, I bet like she cannot like wait. She's just like, we're wasting time eating, why we eat? Like, let's just solve the mystery. Everyone focused on her, to see what was the matter. Also, I have to tell you, like, I saw the manga panels for uh, one of the previous episodes on Discord, you posted this for me. And Dlanor looks crazy scary in, uh, in manga when she first appeared. Also, she looks like... Like, she looks scary and also, like, angelic. She has, like, literally wings. Like, by her, with her cape and everything. That was so sick. It was so good. And Beato Panels. Mm. Her expression was somewhere on the line between invigorated and insane. As uh, though she would come up with some groundbreaking and strange in invention. Hey, what's that? Is it okay? Okay, what did you find? Okay. With an ugly expression covered with cold sweat, Erika glared and leashed out at Butler. What do you mean? He just did that. You saw that. What the hell? I mean, that's valid. Okay, that, that that's valid. That's stupid. But we learned in Umineko that everything that's not debunked is valid. Like, for example, he... Like, everyone was, like, on the upper floor, right? So, someone... Someone whose body was missing, like, uh, they were, like, alive, right? They could, like, help Butler to, like, have a mattress or something. 
on like middle floor or somewhere, he just jumped through the window, go on the mattress and go slide to the window, you know, just like in uh, Death Note, there was uh, something like that, and then they had like someone who played as Butler underground, as the body double basically, someone who's similar to Butler, maybe George, you look similar, just die his, uh, his like hair and from the distance he could look like one. あなたは中庭から橋を追っかけて3階の窓にウドルフさんが登るのを見ていた時その外壁の構造をよく観察し雨どいなどをうまく伝えば3階の窓から中庭に降りることは不可能じゃないと気づいたんです She's really making the blue truth against the butler not against the case Are you serious? Wow She's so pissed off on butler Oh my god as I said, like she's going to be like third party. Like there's no way like, there's no way like we have only two parties here. And this is like meta word. This gives me a headache. Handonte. Handon wa nai. Naraba, watashi no shinjitsu wa yukou desu ne. Hora, mita koto ka. Wow, she's so she's trying so hard. Kakko tsukete tobi orita yo ni mieta no wa subete genso. Anta wa kakko tsukete tobi dashi amadoi ni shigami tsuita dake nan desu. Ano toki no ronten wa jii sama ga shosai o dashitsu kano datta ka dou ka. Yeah, it's not about him, like, jumping through. Yeah, he do not necessarily have to jump through the window. He can not just do the same as you suggest. He could just, like, just climb on the wall like a Spider-Man. So, whatever you say, Erika. You are, like, being desperate in this situation? Yep. Wow, she's so pissed on him. Oh my god. What does it change for you? I think she just like really wants to be able to solve anything at this point. <laughs> so she's trying to make him like to agree with this, so she will have like a endorphin shot, and she will be like, oh my god, yes, I did it. Ah, that was trivial. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> when he escaped uh, to the courtyard through the window, but really did use the cutter to crowd on the wall, just like Erika said. Okay, so she's right on this, but it doesn't matter. But yeah, okay, that makes that makes more sense than jumping. But yeah, that was dramatic scene, I like that. His hand slipped halfway, and he fell from a comfortable height. But he managed to land on his feet without jumping, injuring himself. No one witnessed this. But most likely everyone except Erika, currently in the dining hall, had realized that something like that had happened. No one had believed that he jumped down from the third floor down, fre third floor window in the first place. Even if they hadn't witnessed it directly. So they had no clue what Erika uh, was complaining about and observing over all of a sudden. And started to whisper, glancing at her with cold eyes on Toby's faces. Yeah, 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 just, yeah, be, be happy, yeah, sure. And? Great, amazing, Erika, amazing, yes. Yes. Number Castle give, will give you kiss on the cheek. Yeah, 
I, I, I don't even know what to think about Erika anymore, like, she's so desperate, like, I don't know, is she, like, afraid of, like, punishment, or she's just afraid of abandonment, or she's just, like, that devoted for no reason, or she just loves mysteries, like, facing someone that might have been somewhere beyond the ceiling, Erika spreads her arms and yelled, yeah, she looks like, the one who's crazy in this room, basically. Like, she's the only one who's, like, aware of, like, meta world here. Outside of Beato and Butler, obviously. Because for some reason, suddenly they can communicate with meta world. Bah. Then, if an answer, a massive lightning bolt landed very close. It was incredible sound. They could even feel the earth shake. The earth shake, oh. At the same time, as that sound, Erika went limp. Falling into her seat, like the puppet, who just had all its strings cut. Then, as the sound of wind and rain gradually filled the room once again, Erika slowly opened her eyes, as though recovering a bout of dizziness. And she's back to normal. Did that reset her? Brinkastel just pushed the reset button on her piece. And then, she continued eating in silence, as though nothing had happened. As if she had been acting normally the whole time. She has some, like, brain issues. In, like, eyes of everyone else. Didn't Erika just stand up suddenly and rant at someone? Erika continued uh, eating quietly, her behavior so perfectly normal that everyone started to doubt themselves. After seeing her behaving so calmly, Everyone convinced themselves they were totally worn out. And that they must have hallucinating Erika suddenly yelling. So Erika's sudden transfiguration for a few seconds ago was treated as daydream. And faded out of everyone's memory. This is so weird. Why do we have this scene? It's probably important scene. I mean it kinda shows us that. Erika is talking to invisible people, just like Natsuhi is doing with Beato. Erika quietly poked at her salad and muttered in a voice no one could hear. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> She's losing it. She's so losing it. We have like some crazy detective here. How is she not a culprit? God damn it. That's one crazy detective. So, so. Now we are going to make fun of everyone. There must be some memes about her and chopsticks, right? If they're like spoiler free chopstick Erika memes, you can post them on Discord. I bet there are. Like, chopstick and Erika are like one thing like together. It seems. Okay. And that was like half of a half of hour. Twelve thirty-three, October five. Okay, close it. Oh, this is where. So now we we'll have the Natsuhi stuff, that she's like supposed to hide. I like having that explained actually. Like, like these little things, like battle returned at three, rest split up 30 minutes later and stuff. Because I will have this like actually written, and I will not have to like, you know, very hard try to search who was where when I will be doing streams and stuff. Because I always group like, just like you saw in the. Uh, my theory videos. I like to group people, like who was where. Also, I made like little like redesign of my notes today about my theories, 
And I realized I made like big contradiction and mistake about second twilight of episode one. I for some reason thought like that so he could like never mind. That's contradiction. If you go to this video you will see what I'm I'm talking about. I basically cornered myself there. So yeah. It's about the re receipt stuff. About the receipt and the shed. It's pretty easy to spot, I think. What kind of mistake I did. But yeah, I've addressed that. And also I addressed like some other stuff. So we'll have such good discussion later on. To smoke out the murderer of the first twilight. Erka closely questioned everyone involved to check their alibis and evidence. To confirm this, she went around the mansion with them and then needed to take several trips out to the guest house all the uh, guest house through all the rain. Also, one thing more, like about the bodies, like victims, about the first uh, first twilight, it's not necessarily all of them are dead. Because like they said, like there's a theory that they could hide, right? But there could be like just like few of them who are alive or one of them because Blue Truth of Ben Castle didn't specify like all of them are dead or like all the bodies or something. They, they, she just like said victims and bodies like in general. So it's not it don't necessarily mean like they all dead. So that like some of them could be dead, but not all of them. So culprit could indeed like hide alongside the ones who died. Uh, to confirm this... Question everyone to check the alibis and evidence. Yeah, she said she would like to do that. To confirm this, she went around the mansion with them and when needed, took several trips out to the guest house through all the rain. Her vitality, uh, vitality was admirable. Though she was an unvitated guest, everyone had long since stopped feeling anything strange about the way she imitated a detective. Hi, Meta Ward again. Hi, Ronova. Missed you. わらわたちの存在を否定することなどできぬは金蔵はまどより逃れ今や六軒島の霞よ決して捕らえることも否定することもできぬ指し爪チェスバンの裏側にでも逃げ込んだ they find actually body of Kinzo because the body must be somewhere, right? Unless it's not on the island. It's entirely possible as well. Like, they had time to just get rid of, of the body. But, in according to like previous games, 1 and 2 4, they need one body, and that body was burned in the boiler room. So, I wonder how it will go in the episode 5. I have like slight problem with making theories about episode 5 because. Episode 5 is slightly different uh, from episode 1 to 4. There are like a, a bit of changes and I'm not sure which parts I can include as the like main factor. That was also a thing in the episode 1 to 4. Like for example, uh, yeah, we know from uh, 1 to 4 Kinza was dead. It's the same case for episode 5. Uh, what was that? I don't remember now. I mentioned that on Discord. Uh, one second. I will just like really fast check if I can find this. Uh, that was like my one of my like random, random jumps about ideas and thoughts. Uh, I'm not 
sure. Okay, I'm not going to waste your time, guys, now. Uh, I don't know, I can't find this. I will just, like, check it out later. Yeah, sometimes I just have, like, a, like a random outburst of, like, ideas and questions that I just post live on Discord. Because, yeah, discussions. <laughs> If you want to join Discord, the link is in the description, by the way. Okay. あるしょう。念のためな。そして我々たちも今後のベルンカステル教の狙いを今一度読み直す必要。オッケー、そう、アイ Hmm. Where are they stored? I wonder. <laughs> also, I said like I could maybe I can like just ignore Meta World, but I don't think that's the case actually. I think like Meta World is quite important. It gives like a lot of stuff. It's like it's just weird. Especially when it's like, when MetaWorld was like different from the game board, I was like totally fine with this. Now when it starts mixing together, it's kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, not but I will figure it out sooner or later, maybe, probably, maybe never. <laughs> Apparently I did some like good guesses and good... Uh, Good things in my Fury video, but like no, obviously no one tells me which one. So when I do like redesign of my Furies after the episode five, because I want to like do little like redesigns each after every episode, I guess. Who knows? Maybe I will just destroy my good Fury and just present the bad one. <laughs> like it's entirely possible. Cap opened a large pitch black, hole, pitch black hole in the sky and had it swallowed all of them up. She invited Bato and Ronova to the gap between worlds, where she had hidden the corpses. That place was nowhere in this world, and existed at no time of this world. In other words, it truly and literally was the place not of this world. In this place, questions such as where it is and what time is it had no meaning. Every single place led here, but no place could be reached from here. For furthermore, all times connected to this place, but no time could be passed from here. Huh. In short, this place was what they say, uh, said it was. The underside of the chessboard. Oh, okay. No, perhaps it could be most appropriate to call this the capture pile. Where pieces uh, that have left the game go. Okay. Then, deep within this uh, pitch black world, five, cor five corpses came into view, illuminated by the glow like a faint spotlight. Why five? Weren't that six? Oh no, five. We need. One yeah, one, two, three, four, five, because one, I assume, is. Uh, Kinzo is counting as the. As the sixth one for the first twilight, like in the question arcs, like his body is counting towards the twilights. Okay, makes sense. The five pitiful corpses with their necks sliced open had been arranged neatly. The eyelids were shut and their hands joined. Apparently, even Gap had respect for the dead. Oh yeah. This scene about like Hans being 
joint and stuff. It's similar to how Maria was in the episode 4. At the end. Yeah, Virgil, I think like this is counting Kinzo as well. Let's see what they say. どこへ行っていたやら心配したのだぞ。ゲームはもう第一の晩を迎えてご覧の通り最初の犠牲者が出ておるわ。さあいよいよだ。ワクワクしてきたぞ。そうです。ここのあなたは元気そうですね。何よ
But I had hidden the corpses here, so there no one could so that no one could use the red. Despite that, however, Ronaldo was right. Virgila always thought of Beatrice first. The way that the, uh, these corpses, which Gap had uh, gone to all trouble of erasing, and now been confirmed with the red, made a slightly displeased expression rise to Gap's face. However, in the end, she remembered that she was only guessed and shocked. なぜガープにしたいを隠させたのですかうん。今回のわらわのゲームはすでに非分が解かれているため、普段とは変わっておる。えです。今は夏日に使え。夏日を守ることを目的にしているのだ。オッケー。いや、ですライクプティディフェン
I mean, they can still find body, Kinzo's body unless it's not on the island. Naruhodo. Fun fact, did you knew that in Ace Attorney, uh, the original name of Phoenix Rave was Naruhodo in Japanese version? うん。敵の狙いはおそらくそんなあたりよ。夏日をギリギリ容疑者から逃すことができるわけ。エクセンス。つまり夏日様は実は死んだふりだったと主張することが可能ということですな。やっ。糸子部屋で大勢がその死を確実に確認しているにもかかわらずですか。I wonder what they, what they will say, because this confirmation of deaths and stuff is like going in the question arcs as well. So I wonder if someone just confirmed that, if that's the case. So, basically, Bato just said what I think about question arcs. Like, not necessarily that deep. But yeah, confirmation is like not real evidence in Umineko unless there's like red truth uh, like supporting this. But on the other hand, if you have like stake in your head, deep in your head, then yeah, you're pretty much dead. Actually, what if it's like a uh, kind of like blade that's like contracted the blade, you know? So it just appear you have this in your head. Huh. Maybe? Maybe they could fake it like that in the question arcs. Huh. Threadproof doesn't exist in the human world. Erika's using red. Hello? Uh, that's cheating. Pretty much. It's the same situation as was in the episode 2, I believe. When, Atsuki, when Beatrice was giving her... No, it was episode... Yeah, it was episode 2. When Natsuki, uh, when Beata was giving red, but Rosa on the game board couldn't hear that, so she still went with her own theory. Yeah, the problem is Natsuki now runs away and hides from everyone when they're trying to suspect her, so that's even more suspicious uh, about her now. え、<laughs> ないと呼んでこのものかしらね。なるほど。今回のゲームの流れを把握しました。随分とやらしいものになりそうですね。客も承知よ。そして私たちはすでに夏日がこれから。19年前の男を名乗る何者かが 
とある客室のクローゼットの中に入り息を潜めよと命じているのだ That pretty much will happen. クラウスを人質に取られ夏日は逆らえんなるほど必要ですねかばいきれますか無論よ何かの夏日は犯人ではないのだからな Yeah, and we know that Erika claimed that Natsuki is cool, please. So I wonder which one is right, actually. I mean, from what we saw, Natsuki is not a cool, please. We can agree on that. But who's the cool, please, then? Is it like some. Maybe, maybe it's Kraus doing. Like, Kraus do not necessarily have to tell Natsuki what's happening. He's. As we learned in the like previous episodes, Kraus cares about Natsuki a lot, actually. And maybe he's just like... He wants to like escape the situation. Like, you know, the legal stuff and, and everything. And he's just like... Basically, he's not telling Natsuki what's happening. And he's the one that's like doing the killings and stuff. On the other hand, it doesn't make sense because Jessica died. Yeah, that doesn't make sense because Jessica died. Okay. We still have Goda to account. Goda is alive, right? Yeah, Goda is alive. Goda is like another party that doesn't know anything. And he can like have uh, the grudge, basically. Against Ushiro Miyas because he don't like being here, as we know. And for some reason he have grudge. I don't know. Wait, that's new or no? He is more trusted than those servants who have served family longer and who are photos of skins of spies. Okay. Okay.Natsuki threw her cup of black tea to the ground in protest to show the anger that flowed through her entire body. Oh, we are back to... This is the... Okay, no, wait, this is not the beginning uh, area. I thought for a second this is the beginning scene, but Hideyoshi is still alive, so it's not the beginning scene. Yeah. それを証明していただかないとアリバイにはならないと申し上げてるのです。プレティマッチ。That's valid. Yeah, you don't really have alibi if you you just like go to bed and sleep. I mean, it's like normal and generally stuff that you can do, but yeah, pretty weak as the alibi. So yo, Natsuhine san ni wa maru hitoban no kuhaku jikan ga aru no yo. Saki ni yasumu to itte kaigi wo nuke guest house e iki joji tachi wo osotta kamo shirenai. And do you believe she murdered Jessica as well? Really? Just take that into account, huh? Why would she murder Jessica? Like, just that one thing is just like... Discrediting this whole thing. I mean, like, if she just like... is, I mean, if the murderer is crazy enough and like, don't care about anything, like, about like, family and stuff... Then yeah, sure, they will just murder everyone with the, the cold blood and like, whatever. So, if Natsuki would be the culprit, then yeah, she could just murder Jessica and be like, yeah, whatever. I have money. <laughs> but yeah, we know that that didn't happen. Same with Eva. 
Like, why would she kill George? Like, seriously, like, like the most suspicious people right now, like in current situation, would be. Yeah, basically, once again, like in the previous episode, Servants, Nanjo, and possibly Kiri and Rudolf, maybe? Maybe they want to be sure that Butler will be the one who will be the head or something. And they have obviously like some kind of like uh, hidden secrets from Butler, Butler birth and everything. Like Rudolf said, yeah, right. When we going back to like this talk, Rudolf, huh? Don't you dare die before talking to this about this. <laughs> Exactly my point. Are you sure, Kiria? Yeah, but Natsuki is more suspicious than everyone else because you don't have alibi, actually. Okay. Yeah. The relatives spoke as though they were all under equal suspicion, but the mood about this place didn't feel so peaceful. Eric was still in the middle of confirming everything, but other than that, so he who was unwilling to prove her alibi, everyone else had an alibi, which was reasonably credible. Only Natsuki, who had claimed that just uh, being suspect was an insult, was uncooperative with Arika. And her uh, position began to grow more and more perilous. This parlor was no longer the place of comfort for Natsuki. And the sound of the cup smashing had made the decisive. That decisive. <laughs> Yeah. This sucks that this is happening. Like, basically... I know this is how the mystery works and you... You basically have to. Or has to. Yeah, has to. You basically has to... Suspect anyone. Because you, if you don't know motive... Because, yeah... Like, Natsuki is the most suspicious and maybe she had something that was worthwhile to kill her own daughter. We don't know that. Or, or Kraus. Maybe Kraus is uh, uh, like hiding and he judged that sacrificing his own daughter is worth the end of the goal. Maybe. But yeah. That sucks, that's happening, but we'll have to go with this. We cannot deny it. I should go with this uh, way of thinking about I'm unable to deny person not being a culprit just because the son or daughter died. Because I was doing that for episode 4, I believe. I think like in general, in episodes, I was thinking like... This person cannot be a culprit because George died. This person cannot be a culprit because Jessica died. This person can be a culprit because, I don't know, Maria died or whatever, like, fa like direct family member, but that's not the case. They still could have, like, some kind of, like, idea of, like, it's being worth or something. So I should just, like, suspect everyone equally and just, like, build up the alibis. I think that's, that's how I should, like, go with this. あなたの無実を証明するアリバイを何か示してみせなさいよ。そんなものないくせに。ジョージを返して、この人殺し。いや、イバペアンクフェリーホテルだ。ナツさん、あんたも少し疲れてるや。もちろんそれはわしらもや
They will think probably that she escaped or something and she's hiding like alibi so she can like not be proved anything. Yeah, whatever. Who gave her that authority? The red truth, and that's cheating on the game board. Like, what? How you can use red on the game board suddenly? Like, it never happened before. What is this kind of cheating? No one asked. It was an authority given by words of power from a higher world. So the pieces weren't even allowed to doubt it. Yeah. This is cheating. I guess that's like the very valid option for her. That's good, I guess. It may be a bit too late to mention this, but well, no, this happens every time. As usual, the phone couldn't connect to the police. That's why he said the police would come, but that wasn't exactly true. Yeah, she just assumed that police will come, like they will just escape the island and just call the police. Strictly speaking, the boat to pick them up would come tomorrow. And they would be able to use the radio on the boat to contact the police. Well, it's not like it will let everyone leave that long away. I will. Yeah. So that was that was like Culprit talking here. I wonder who's the culprit then. This is it sounds like like this whole conversation about like Natsuki talking about police now and this person having like thoughts uh, about the police. That means that this person was together with Natsuki in this room. In this situation because he heard her talking about police and then the culprit could like have these uh, these thoughts about the situation. So the culprit is inside this room together with everyone. So if we go with this, then Shannon, ca like servants are free, free. They're like not suspicious in this case because servants are not present in this room for now, I think. So it's one of like the rest. So it still could be like Rudolf or Kyrie, like I said, like they didn't lose the butler. And maybe they want to like have him ahead. Also, we know that Kyrie have like shady backstory about uh, Asumu and Asumu suddenly dying. So maybe? They have, Rudolf also have like some mysteries about butler birth and stuff and of course we have Nanjo who knows about everything about Kinzo and stuff and he's like together with, together with Kraus and Natsuki so yeah I think like we can clear the name of servants now because servants are not present in this room and we had like culprit talking about he will not leave uh, anyone alive This is just like snapshot quick thought. I wonder if I will like stick to this when I will do like stream and like deeper thoughts. Wow. That's like Terrible idea. Yeah, and don't open the door. Just be safe, just like don't let like anyone, even servants and anything. Yeah, that's not going to happen, we know that Hideyoshi will die. 
At least that's what it appeared uh, in the beginning opening scene. Okay, Golda is in the room. Never mind, Golda is suspicious again. Okay, adding one suspect. And Goda is pretty sus anyway. Just because he's Goda and he's a... He's Goda. There's a lot of weird stuff about, about Goda in general. Like, this, his whole character is either meme or serious. He's competent murderer or he's incompetent idiot. <laughs> it's either of these two. <laughs> Okay, so only Goda from the servants were in the room. Okay, so the circle of close suspects, like number one suspect for me is Goda for now. Number two suspect is probably Nanjo. Because he's like le 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 least related to anyone. And then we have Hide, uh, Kiri and Rudolf. I think that would be my like top suspects for now. I will have to like I don't know. Like I said, like this uh, these are just like my current episode snapshot thoughts. So I don't remember correctly where where was everyone. So I don't remember where was Goda when the murders happened. Where was the Nanjo and everyone? So I will do this later when I finish episode five, and I will have to can like open the LP archive for Chiru episode five, and I can like analyze everything. That's when we go to really deep stuff, to the good stuff. Well, I like making like this like little snapshot theories. I have fun with this, and and making like little notes about this. I have everyone uh, watching her and Sigil of the Parlor. From their faces, she could tell that they were expecting the classic mystery pattern. That the first person to quarrel and leave the circle would become the next victim. Natsuki couldn't disobey because of the threat against Kraus, who had been taken as hostage. Very soon it would be 1st pm. Uh, the time had been arranged. Yep. She was to hide for an hour in the closet of the specific guest room. It was easy to suspect that this bizarre order was a trap to select her as the next sacrifice. She thought of various ways to resist, but all methods would be useless against culprit who had taken hostage and was observing her from close by. And I think I mentioned that before when we had this conversation about with the guy on the, the phone and the closet. And we, we know that Hideyoshi is like one of the next victims. So what I think that will happen that Natsuki is leaving, saying everyone that she's going to her room, she's actually going to the closet, Hideyoshi's dying, everyone goes to Natsuki's room, she's not there! Hideyoshi's dead! Holy fuck, we found the culprit! Pretty much self-explanatory. Like... Yeah. So Natsuki could do nothing but obediently follow his orders. And then claimed that she had been forced to do this for her husband's safety. As the arranged time had drawn near, Natsuki had intentionally acted annoyed and smashed the cap on the ground to give her an excuse for slipping out to the of the parlor. At any rate, no matter how cowardly a trap it may be, I cannot disobey now. I am now the one who carries the burden of the one-winged eagle. Now that my husband Kraus has been captured, I must protect it, even if I have to crawl through the mud. <laughs> of course, I'm prepared to do that. I'm Ushimi Yanatsuki. Even if I'm not permitted to bear the one-winged eagle on my clothes, father gave me permission to bear it in my heart. Yeah, we know from the episode 1. Dog. With a ghost, because he's dead. But maybe he talked to her like that before. Like, when he was alive. I think dashing away in a rage 
got me here without rising to my suspicion. So far, everything has gone well. Through my eyes was the doorknob, the specific specified guest room. However, I wonder about the lock. The servers are under orders to always lock any unused rooms. What will I do if it's locked? I dashed out of the parlor, pretending that I was returning to my room. Going back and asking servants to unlock this guest room would be obviously suspicious. If possible, I'd like to get this eerie hide and seek over with anyone not without anyone noticing. In that phone call, from the one who claimed to be a man from 19 years ago, said that I would win if no one found me, but lose if anyone did find me. If this room is open, I'm raising my suspicions about Goda. He's a servant, he have master keys, he could leave it open for Natsuhi. He said that uh, he would release my husband when I won or lost. But as a person with a sort of hostage taken against me, I would rather not lose. Yeah, release his, him from his life, I guess. I don't like it at all, but I have to go along with this game. I stopped to give the doorknob and I could feel that it was unlocked. It's fucking Goda. Did Sha and Kumasa forget to lock it after cleaning? Or did the man unlock it in advance? That man couldn't be waiting for me in this room, could he? And then he will... All that about hide and seek might have been just an excuse. I kept the fact that I was coming here secret and all of the other people think I'm resting in my room. If I were to be killed in this situation in this room, it might create a new baffled murder case, like an extension to the one which occurred this morning. So Natsui had some experience with using Nagnana, but only from casual lessons, and you don't have the polearm with you! Anyway, unlike Eva, she couldn't brag about being able to hold off any single ruffian eye, definitely. Yeah, we know that she learned a lot of, like, uh, martial arts. And she, like, make George uh, learning them as well. She was now. She had no realistic chance of uh, prevailing over a man with malicious intent of her own. And no weapons that could make it possible. Okay. She readied herself and slowly opened the door. She couldn't afford to stand around the corridor and risk being seen by someone. The atmosphere inside the guest room was ice cold. This is the background of... This is the background of Hideyoshi and uh, Eva room. That we had in the episode 1. Also, this is the same room where... Like, this is also the same background that was in episode 4. When Kiria was killed. It's the same background as well. So maybe it's the same room. But yeah, I'm like... Background analytic stuff for no reason. I know the original was different. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. The atmosphere inside the guest room was ice cold. And she could sense no trace of a person waiting impatiently for her. But, even if the original was different, in the remakes, like this, when they added like backgrounds, they could do this as especially for the reader to give additional clues from the background, which was not, not possible before, you know? So the newer versions of Umineko are easier than the ori uh, original ones. No? Well, might be. Oh, she was here were the unsettling sounds of the wind and rain. At first, that seems to be proof that no one exi uh, existed to, to threaten her. But before long, it only stirred up the uneasy feeling inside her all the more. I mean, culprit can hide under the bed. The closet was just off to the side of anyone entering this room. Lined up inside, it was a set of hang uh, hangers where guests would hang their clothes, uh, coats. This closet, which had nothing hanging in it, was large enough for even an adult to hide in. 
She softly opened the closet. Of course, there was nothing inside. We should have... She should have to hide quietly in here for an hour. The room had a wood floor, but something like the culprit had been laid in the closet. It seems that sitting down wouldn't be a problem. So I'm prepared it spe especially for her. Is there something under the car uh, uh, carpet? There can be like something hidden under the carpet. She had been sure that uh, someone would be waiting for her in this room. Or that strange letter would be lying in the closet. She had even imagined the worst that her husband's corpse had been inside. However, none of these things happened. Um, yeah, imagine it turned out to be true. All that was, uh, all that was, the, here was a cold guest room, a lifeless closet, which slightly urged her to go inside. Yeah, check under carpet. I swear, check under carpet. There's no way that's normal. That's like with carpet inside your like closet. Atsuki shrugged, turned around, then locked and chained the guest room. Guest room door. Good point! The problem is you cannot escape from this room as well if culprit is inside. Not like you can escape anyway. Yeah, and you will win. Like... The guy on the phone never specified that you cannot, like, lock door or anything. This would certainly result in total victory in Highland Sea game against that mystery man. Yeah, and will create another locked room if you, like, get murdered here. However, it was such an easy victory, it made her feel uneasy. This is normally against the rules of Highland Sea. Even if I win, I want this... Want this this place the culprit? And everyone thinks I'm in the room right, right now, in my room. If they find room within a chain set, that will be an impossible locked room for to them. <clears throat> Erika was dashing around the mansion to confirm everyone's alibi. If she noticed that the chain is set on this room, it would probably be an uproar. She would end up then cutting the chain and searching the room. If that happens, I'll be found hiding in the closet right away. Huh. It would be easy for me to honestly confess what I was hiding. But that man insists that I will not reveal that. If I tell them, I might end uh, endangering my husband. Thinking of that way, of that way, setting the chain. No, even locking the door might be a bad idea. That's right. This room was unlocked when I came here. If I were to suddenly become locked, it's con conceivable that it might catch someone's attention. It's better if I don't do anything unnecessary. That man only told me to hide. Huh. Maybe. I mean, this is like good reasoning. I guess. Like, they can like just always just cut this. Because, yeah, if it would be like locked through the key... That would be less suspicious because serv uh, servant would have to basically say that he didn't lock the door or unlock the door. And if it's just locked, that would appear normal for them. But if there's a chain from the inside, that means someone's actually inside. So this is the big difference in a way how you lock the door. I unbeat both of these two precious locks. Went into the dimly lit closet, filled with the smell of old wood, and managed to close uh, the door from the inside. Peach Black. It reminded me when I was young, when I used to hide somewhere and then surprise my mother. But that peaceful recollection wasn't enough to kill off my anxiety. It really is Peach Black. From in here, I won't even be able to check my watch to see if an hour has passed. I'll probably need to open the door a crack every once in a while to let uh, let in enough light for my watch. 
For now, I sat down and folded my legs. I thought about holding my knees to my chest, but it hurt my back when I tried. I'm not as young as I used to be. Even though I... Even though I and the rest of my class were made to sit on the floor, clasping our knees in every PE class as grade schoolers, now I have to struggle just to sit down. Aww. That's sad. I'm sad for Natsuki. She's not that old. She's like 40. Just like sitting down here for an hour will probably hurt a lot. That's a torture he made for her. The guy on the phone. <sighs> and I think the adventures in the closet will leave for the next episode, actually. Because... I don't have, like, episodes really recorded for, like, ahead much, because now we have double week. I mean, double week was, like, previous week, I guess, but still, uploading process and potential problems with Dai and ZTS. Yeah, the shorter, like, I don't want to risk right now making, like, very long episode, because the longer episode, the bigger problems I have with uploading this, so... We'll just leave it for now like this, and next episode I will see, maybe it will be longer, maybe the same. It depends how the story will unveil, uh, unveil itself. Yeah, that was like, pretty good, like, we have like, the beginning of like, next basically Twilight. And I wonder if like, Natsuhi thought process is right, and correct, and if it's actually Goda, because Goda for now is just skyrocket in my like, culprit tier list. Because the room was opened, just because of that. He was inside the room, when they talked about the police, and Culprit was talking to himself. The, the, and the room was opened, waiting for Natsuki, so... It must be someone who had the key to this room. Like, for me, this is like number one suspect for now. But we'll see, on streams and stuff like later on. So yeah. Let me know in the comments what you think, and yeah, of course, don't spoiler me about anything, like, don't give me, like, obvious hints and stuff like that, because I want to figure stuff out my, by myself with just, like, bouncing few ideas around you, with you on streams and stuff. But yeah, I guess that would be it. So yeah, thank you for being with me. Thank you for watching this episode. Leave up a like if you like the episode. Dislike if you dislike and you can also subscribe for more Rumi Neko content and I will see you next one. So thanks for once again and for the pocket watch. It's going out.